guys, welcome to my art channel. Thanks for stopping by to make some art with me. Um, for more free art lessons, you could press the button below and subscribe right there on that red button. And I will see you really soon. Now let's get to making some art. Bye bye. Hi everybody, welcome to Handmade Books. And today we are going to create something called a Starbook. The Starbook starts off very, very tiny like this, and then it opens up to look something like this. So you're going to need a few supplies for the Starbook, and I'm going to put up a list for you right now and give you a chance to get your supplies together while I change the angle of my camera so we can take a look on how to make these Starbucks, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so in order to create our starbook, there are a few materials we're going to need. The first thing is you're going to need eight sheets of four inch by four inch paper. Um, you can use color printer paper or white printer paper. Don't use construction paper. It won't work for this project. It's too thick. Okay, and you're going to need eight sheets. I'm doing multiple color pages, so I have many different colors sheets. Okay. You are going to need two two inch by two inch pieces of chipboard. Now you can get chipboard from a cereal box or like a granola bar box if you don't have some lying around. If you don't have chipboard, you can use cardstock. Okay, and that's going to be a two pieces, two inches by two inches. On top of that, these are going to be the covers. You're going to need two decorative sheets of paper. They're going to be two and a half by two and a half inches. And you'll need two sheets. Those are going to be the covers for our books. You're going to need a glue stick and a scissor. You will also need a 12 inch piece of string or ribbon or yarn. Clear off the space and I'm going to show you how to do the folds. So I'm going to take my first piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. And when I fold it in half, I'm going to make sure that it's as neat as possible, that all the edges meet up. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to really work that crease. It's very important when you make these creases that you make them nice and crisp so you can really see the lines inside because when you fold the book together and all the pages, it will make it much easier to fold. Okay, so let's get back. We fold it in half. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to fold it in half the other way. I'm going to make a nice crisp crease and you're going to see I have an X. I'm going to turn the paper into a diamond and I'm going to have the tips of those corners match up like that, making a triangle. Nice crease, nice and crisp. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make it nice and crisp. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to turn the page the other way. I'm going to fold it in half again, making sure I line up the edges of the paper. Nice crisp fold. Open it up. 
You're going to look at it like a diamond. You're going to fold it in half to make a triangle. Have those points meet up. And nice crisp fold. Okay. Folding it in half. Crease. Open. Fold. Crease. Open. Fold in half to make a triangle. Folding it in half. Half again. Fold into a triangle. Okay. As you get used to it, you will get better at it and your folds will get neater. In the beginning, take your time. I've done this many, many times, so I can go pretty quickly. to the triangle. Fold it in half. Crease. Open. Fold it in half. Crease. Open. Fold it in half to make a triangle. Crease. Okay, so now I have all my book pages. So I'm going to show you how to fold the book pages so they look like this. Okay, so once you have all of your papers folded in triangles, we're going to do the origami fold to make the book pages. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the paper and hold it to you like the, a diamond shape. And you see this really deep line in here? Okay, you're going to actually press that in on either side. Okay, so if you folded your papers and did a really, really nice tight crease, this should be very easy to do, okay? So you find that line that cuts across, you push it in on both sides, and then you push the tips together, just like that. Okay, now let's try another one, okay? If I open it up, I could see that line from side to side there. I'm going to push that in backwards on both sides, push it together, and make a page. Okay, so push it from the outside to the inside. You're going to push that crease in. You're going to push the crease in on the other side. You're going to grab these tips, hold them together, and push down. And there's another page. Open it up. Find those creases. You're going to push it in from the back to the front. Back to the front. Grab 
the tips and fold. Now if you're finding this is very difficult for you, I would say fold your paper back into that triangle, take your fingernail and really, really make sure that you get a nice crease in that paper because those creases are what's going to help you pop up the back of the pages, like from the back to the front, just like that, okay? So let's make sure that these are nice and crisp. We're going to open it up. We're going to push that crease from here into the inside of the page here. I'm going to do it on this side. Grab those tips and press this down. Let's just crease that again. Open it. Press that page. That crease to the inside. Press this crease to the inside. Grab it. Press it down. And the last one. Press that crease from the back to the inside. You can do the same thing on this side. Grab those tips there and press it down. Okay, so now that we have folded all of our sheets, four by four sheets of paper, we are ready to connect them to make them the inside of the book. And then when they're connected, they're gonna look like this. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these sheets, I'm just gonna put them in the order that I want to glue them together. Okay, so you're going to need your glue stick and what you're going to do is take your first piece, we're going to consider this the top of the page and the bottom of the page because the pages go like this, right? So I'm going to put glue on the bottom of my page and I'm going to take the next page and I want to make sure that they're opening in the same direction and I'm going to glue them together. And I'm going to double check to make sure that they're opening in the right direction because I've made many of these before where I didn't check. And if you um, put a page in the wrong direction, once the glue dries, you can't, you can't remove the page. So you kind of have to start over again. So I'm going to continuously check. So now I'm going to put glue on the bottom here. I'm going to add my orange page and I'm going to check. So see, it's looking good. We're okay. Okay, I'm just hitting the table and trying to make sure that they're all straight. Okay, still looking good. Okay, still working. So for the sake of the video, I've been doing everything quite quickly and not as neat as it really should be. So when you do this, you'll have more time and it's better to take your time. Let's see, this one's sticking a little. I'm just going to open that flap up. There we go. It's looking really good. It's very, very important to, when you're doing the folds initially to take your time and do them really neatly because in the end, um, that'll show up in the pages of your book if they're uneven. Okay, and we have our last page. Whoops. I'm 
And there we go. I did it. Okay. This one's stuck a little bit. You can open that up. Anything that's stuck. Okay, we have something stuck over here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the book and we're going to uh, work on the book cover and then we're going to put the inside of the book in the cover. So I'm going to put this aside for a minute and I'm going to take my two two inch by two inch chipboard or cardstock squares. Okay, and I'm also going to take my uh, decorative paper, which is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on the square. And this is the decorative part, and this is just the back of the paper. So I'm going to glue my chipboard or my cardstock to the back of the decorative paper. And I'm going to center it. And I'm going to glue the other one. I'm going to center that. Okay. So now I'm going to need my scissor. And what I'm going to do is over here, at each corner, I'm going to cut my paper on an angle right above the corners. And the reason for doing this is when we fold the paper in to the inside cover of the book, it just makes it look a lot neater and a lot more finished. So right on across those corners like that. Okay, so it looks like that. Now this paper is a little thick, so I'm going to give it a little fold. And now I'm going to glue at the edge, and I'm going to flip that paper over and glue it down. And you see, because we did those corners, it just folds really nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on this one, my second piece. My fingers are getting gluey. <laughs> okay. So now I have my two book covers. And the way these book covers work, when we put them together, we're not going to put them together like this. We're going to put them together like this. So I'm going to put them with the decorative paper facing down. Okay. And I'm going to see how I have the two corners joined over here. I have two diamonds. And I'm going to overlap them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, whether you have ribbon or yarn or string, whatever, and I'm going to glue it across like this over both. So first things, I am going to add some glue across here. And I'm going to put some glue across here. I'm going to find the middle. Because I want my middle to end up here. So this is the middle. And then I'm going to lay this across the inside of my cover. And I'm going to lay it across over here, the inside of my cover. Just add a little bit more glue. I usually use ribbon for this, but I didn't have any ribbon. Um, I feel because the ribbon is flatter, like that really... Um, now a ribbon. I feel like that works the best with this, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to wait a minute and let this dry. 
and then we'll start putting the book pages inside of this book. So now we're going to put our book pages inside the covers of our book. So the first thing you need to know is that where the book opens has to go towards the outside of your book cover. Now, the outside of your book covers are where you'll see your ribbon or your yarn sticking out. So, I am going to put glue right here and I am going to make sure that this is the opening here, just going out and that it's going in the correct direction which is towards the yarn. And I'm just going to put it right on here. And press it down a little bit. Press it down in there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put some glue over on the top of the book. Then I'm going to fold it down like a sandwich. And just make sure everything is lining up nicely. And I'm going to give it a good squeeze and press down. And you should really wait for the book to dry before you do this, but I want to show you how it comes out. So I just have to, some of the pages are a little sticky, that's okay, I can just open them up, that happens. So once you open all the pages up, making sure none of them are sticking together, this is what you have, and that is your star book, and you can hang it from here. And you could also open it back up. You can tie it a little bit. And keep it closed, like that. And there you have your star book. See you soon. Bye-bye.